Hi, Devereaux here. Thanks for tuning into my how-to videos for my portals pack. In this video, we're going to discuss setting up the blueprint side of the portal effect along with material effect. So we've already, in the previous video, we talked about setting up the material effect, which was to go over quickly here, and we'll go here, and we'll drive materialize from zero to one, and you can see the effect going in and out. But we want, we want a driver for this to be done in a blueprint. So we want to go ahead and use something called a child actor. Inside of your portal blueprint folder, there's a CA underscore portal. Now that's meant to be injected into any of your, your, like your meshes that you want to, uh, to be controlled. Uh, one easy way to do it. You could do other ways too, but this is one that's provided for you. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's go ahead and open up our third person character, control B, find them up. And what we want to do is go over here and add component. We want to add a child actor, child actor component. And then that's fine. Uh, and we'll go ahead and um, set that child actor class to CA underscore portal. There we go. And basically that's what you need to do just to get that component in. Now we have this portal component. In fact, we'll call it, we'll call it portal component. There we go. Just keep it in line with the other names. And what we want to do is go to the event graph and then on begin play. If it's not already there, we'll do that one. Begin play. Add that new event Come over here. And what we want to do is create a pointer, pointer to that component. So we'll go ahead and drag that child component off. We'll go ahead and drag off portal component and we'll need to do a git child actor and then from there we want to cast that that actually get the reference to the class that we got instantiated so we'll go ahead and cast to a CA portal to a uh, CA portal perfect there we go that's just a couple of things you got to get that set up here for any child class go ahead and do that and we'll want to go ahead and uh, set this as a new variable Portal component, portal effect. There's the portal effect. And then from there we want to go ahead and set up a one, we want to set up if it's a floor or not. So uh, what we want to do is go ahead and go to uh, this and floor, set is floor. What we can do is expose the variable here. We want to do that, promote the variable is floor and we want to keep that as default as yes it is a floor okay because that automatically shift the uh, from a ceiling or a floor if you don't have that thing so go ahead and set that and the last thing we need to do with our portal effect it goes is go ahead and do an initialize there we go and that's it we now have that comp a, comp a component that'll go ahead and monitor the materialize warping in and out of the functions automatically. You don't have to add any anything to yourself besides this one little uh, start code. Everything is active, ready to go. Now all we need is an input to tell it when to start to warp in and when to warp out. So we're just going to do a quick and dirty for the example. This could be done many different ways, but I'll go ahead and do for in, for warp in. We'll do an I. Let's go ahead and do an I for keyboard here. And, Find it in the keyboard, here we go. And then also for O for out, warp out. And that looks like that works good there. All right, so then what we we'll wanna do is grab the reference to the portal effect here, and then uh, get it, and then turn right click it, hit convert to validate it and get. Control copy it, control copy. On press, not press, we'll just copy the same thing. What we wanna do is actually go into it and do warp warp in and then do this one warp out there we go and we have to pass in the mesh that it's going to be controlling so we'll go up here and get a reference to the mesh here put that there and the same thing as this one right here and that should be it at least on the blueprint side there is still one more thing we need to set up for the uh, the viewport we click on that and we actually see that this um, this component is right at the origin of where the character origin is. So we actually need to move that downward. So make sure it's got selected. Let's go ahead and move it down. Let's go down. 90, about 90. Here, I'll actually change it to ones. 
Bring it a little farther, a little farther. About 97. 97 works about right for where his feet is. There we go. Save it. And then uh, for a quick test, we'll go jump over and hit play. Let's play. And now we're able to go ahead and do warp out by hitting an O. And there you go, it warped out. And then if we want to warp in, hit I, and it warped right on in. And that is pretty neat. Now let's see what happens when we change it to if it's not a floor portal but a ceiling portal. Let's go ahead and click on here and go back to the third person character. I want to make sure that this is floor variable is exposed publicly, so it has the eyeball, which is good. We'll go back to here and we'll click on it. We'll scroll over here. Is the is floor? You say it is not. Now that only sets it up for the um, the blueprint spawning the particle from the floor or the ceiling. We also have to go set it in the instance too. So as before, we click on here. We open up the instances here. So open up the body, and we'll make this a is floor portal. Turn that off. And then also same thing for the other one, is floor portal, and turn that off, save it, and then we start up the level, and then what we do is we want to warp out, so we hit O, and as you see that the portal opens up above, and gets sucked in above, and then we'll warp back in, hit I, so you can see it changed the effect from the top, and to the bottom, so you can have the effect both ways, it's pretty neat. And then you can see where that pink is, we can change that green, and it matches this effect pretty closely. Or we can go ahead and pick a different particle out. So let's do that. Let's escape. Alright, I've opened up the uh, overview map and now you can sit there and see the different types of particles that we can use. There's particles here, Some the one it starts with, some, a blue one, a pinkish looking one. Maybe we'll grab that one. That one looks pretty cool. And then this is just a, uh, a 2D one there for the floor. So you have different options. Uh, this one is another floor one. And this is more of a 3D one, so if you want to dissolve to go up or down. And this is another one of those little dissolved ones. And these are put to use over here, you can see on the, on the side here. So what we'll do is we'll steal this pink one over here. That's the one I want to use for our, our version of it. So we'll grab this pink one and go over to where it's at in the portal and open up the portal blueprint. And set, you got to click on the blueprint itself. Don't set, click on the portal particle. Click on the blueprint. Go to the, the particle floor, so this is now a floor particle. And switch it to the pink one. Compile it. And then hit play. Now if you'll do a warp out. And there you go, it's pink. It goes right on out. Now I'll go ahead and warp in. It goes right on in. Now you could do some more tweaks to that. You could actually take that particle effect and scale it up a little bigger. And we do the transform. We can sit there and scale this by 2, save, and then go ahead and hit play. Now it should be two times bigger. Out, and then in. Now that, that's just pretty nice with the pink at the bottom. Now you go ahead and tweak this a little farther. Once you kind of get the, the, the design that you like, you can start tweaking timings of how long that particle fades out and cascade and etc. So if you have any questions or suggestions, please leave them below and thanks for watching.